Leaders of the Muslim community say Scottish government proposals for same-sex marriages are an assault on their faith. Imams from across Scotland issued strong condemnation of the plans to redefine marriage. The proposals would allow a man to marry a man and a woman to marry a woman, although not in places of religious worship. Laura Bicker reports. They came together to issue a statement to the Scottish government. Fifteen imams from Scotland's largest mosques who believe marriage is sacred. One of the fundamental things about, uh, about, about the, the marriage is, is a means of uh, procreation of children coming to this world and, and the civilizations get carrying on and this does not exist uh, in any other form. Even younger members say they feel the need to speak out. I totally understand that there's homosexual relationships out there. Everyone's, you know, you have to accept that as a part of life these days. But as a Muslim myself, it's just something that I'm against. The imams say they'll make it clear from the pulpit that their community should not vote for any local election candidate who agrees with same-sex marriage. The Church of Scotland and the Roman Catholic Church in Scotland have already made it clear that they too are against the proposals. But some smaller religious groups say they want change. There are a vast range of groups out there that do support same-sex marriage. So my challenge to these groups would be, it's, it's right, of course, that the government shouldn't be forcing you to conduct same-sex marriages, and no one wants to do that, but you should also respect the religious freedom of those groups that do want to conduct same-sex marriages. The Scottish Government has said it's had over 50,000 responses to the consultation, and the results should be published within the next couple of weeks. Laura Bicker, Reporting Scotland, Glasgow.